All right, so we are going to look at a multiples with fraction problem. This is on page 44 of your fourth grade packet. It says that Jason creates multiples of each fraction shown. What number did he multiply each fraction by to create the multiple? All right, so we need to figure out what he multiplied each fraction by in order to create the multiple he created. Okay, and so we see the multiples that Jason has here. He has five thirds, four eighths, three sixths. So these, anytime the numerator is a one, that means this is considered a unit fraction. So one third is the unit fraction. So how did he get from one third to five thirds? What did he multiply one third by to get to five thirds? So five thirds is exactly what you hear. Five thirds. So that is one third plus one third plus one third plus one third plus one third. How many times did I add one third? One, two, three, four, five. So he multiplied five by one third to get five thirds. Let me see if I can make that look better. <laughs> All right. Next up, he got four eighths. What did he do to get from one eighth to four eighths? And remember, one eighth is a unit fraction. So when you think about four eighths, it's exactly what it sounds like four eighths. So one eighth plus one eighth, plus one eighth, plus one eighth. I've done that four times. One, two, three, four. So I have to multiply four by one eighth to get four eighths. All right, last one, three sixths. Okay, three six is exactly what you hear. Three one six. One six, another six, and another six. So one, two, three. So three times one six equals three six. Hmm, I noticed something about these two. Four is half of eight, so four eighths is equivalent to a half. Three six. Three is half of six. Three six is equivalent to a half. Just a bonus. <laughs>